Hey my friends, what is up and thanks for watching another of my videos. I'm Stephanie just in case you didn't know and in today's video we did this really fun and colorful look. Um, today I guess it's a double cut crease because uh, I cut my crease twice so I don't know if you will call it a double cut crease or not but I'm going to call it a double cut crease. Um, so we did something really pink and green you would have thought I was an AKA. I know back to back videos and cheetah I am not trying out for the cheetah girls I promise. Um, it just so happened to be that way. Sorry, not sorry. So yeah. So if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Oh, er, don't forget to subscribe. While you're subscribing, there's a little bell right next to that subscribe button that it notifies you every time that I do an upload, rather than occasionally. And also, if you click um, throughout the screen, there'll be like little like cards up there it'll let you know how I got this hair it'll let you know how I got the colorful hair it'll let you know everything girl everything 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 it'll let you know all of that all of that so yeah um, so without further ado let's just go ahead and just jump right into the next slide barefaced Stephanie is on her way bye guys Mwah. hey guys what it <coughs> 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 In today's video, I'm looking custard and busted per usual. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put a wig cap on really quickly, just you know. It's crazy how hair just makes you look just 10 times better without even having to do anything. So now that we're not a bald head is scallywag anymore, let's just go ahead and jump right into this face. <coughs> if you're wondering what I'm drinking, it's apple juice. You can see it. Honestly, hands down, I don't know where you're from. If you even have this store where you're from, but it's a store called Publix. I know they're in the south. I do not know how far north they go or how far west they go. But if you have a Publix in your town, I recommend the Publix brand apple juice and refrigerated and then you can cold. One, I don't like cold, I don't like hot apple juice, but um, refrigerated. And when you once it comes out the refrigerator, I swear. To you, God himself plucked the apples from the tree that they used and, and he turned the apples themselves into this apple juice. Like when I tell you it is the bees freaking knees, oh my God, bees freaking knees. I need a clip to go ahead and clip my hair out the way. In today's video, I want to play with um, some colors today. So we're going to be taking two palettes. I'm going to be working with um, the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place. And we're just going to play around with some colors today. Um, but first, through the power of editing, we're going to go ahead and just wipe on these eyebrows. So. So, boom. Okay, so we, like I said, we're gonna play with some colors. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay, anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna start, start off with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and I'm going to go in with this color right here, this really dark, bright green, I guess. I don't know. Now, like always, what we're going to do first is we're going to just pack the color on um, just so we can get the vibrancy that we want. 
and then we're gonna go back in and blend it. So don't worry, it's don't worry. Going back into the Technic to Brazil palette, I'm gonna take this yellow color and I'm going to pack it on the top to go ahead and um, blend out this yellow green. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut my crease. Um, yeah, um, as you know, I like to use, oh my God, <sighs> yeah, there's too much going on on my desk, way too much. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease real quick because I want to just do something like really fun and creative. I'm going to try to do like a little like double cut crease. I don't know. Let's see. Um. But I'm gonna cut my crease like normal. I'm using the um, ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Medium 28. As you guys know, I do like to use their applicator just because of the wand that they have um, to cut my crease. Okay, I'm just gonna take. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna take a flat brush now, and I'm gonna pat that concealer just to get the excess product off. I'm gonna now go into this hot pink color, and we're going to work this right at the very top of the crease that we just made. Okay. So now we're gonna go back into the concealer. We're gonna cut our crease again. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I know I said we're only gonna use two palettes. Um, I know I said we're only gonna use two palettes, but we slick my use three, my bad. Um, yeah, we're gonna use three. Um, well, we haven't used a Juvia's Blade, so it might just be two. I'm gonna go in with um, the Huda Booty um, Obsessions palette. This is the Emerald one, I believe. Yeah, Emerald. And we're gonna take this dark green color over here in the corner, in the cut, in the, in the, in the cut.
So I want to blend out the very, very edge, but I don't want to blend out all of the all of the pink. But I still want to have that definition. So I'm taking a pointer brush also to go ahead and pack some product onto the lid so that we doesn't mess with our pink line. And then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and blend out back here. Just so it kind of like all like disappears with each other. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Now I'm going to go back into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And we're going to use this lime green color. And we're going to put that on the beginning part of our crease. You know it's so crazy y'all i just literally rewashed my brush blip, 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 blip. Deep, deep, deep. that's all folks i literally just washed my brushes like two days ago now they're all dirty again so what is some good music that you guys are like into now like i'm trying to like Like I'm trying to like add more people to like my collection or whatever and I know like you know female rap is like the new thing now or whatever. Um please don't recommend Megan the Stallion to me because I'm I don't see the hype behind her. Honestly and truly, I feel like people I feel like she's overhyped just because people 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 want somebody to overthrow you know what I'm saying? Like Nikki and Cardi. And it's like there are more artists besides them too. I honestly don't. I never understood when it comes to female rappers why there has to be just one. You know what I'm saying? Because in the 90s there was a whole bunch of them and we didn't say nothing then. We just went along with it. Today it's 30 boys calling themselves baby and nobody's, nobody blinks an eye. But as soon as there's more than one female rapper, all of a sudden it's this beef, that beef, and the third beef. And I just don't understand it. So it's like, I feel like, honestly, truly and honestly, I, Megan, Megan decided to me is overhyped. She is. Sorry, not sorry. She has like two bops that I really do enjoy. Like I like that hood rat shit with my hood rat friend. And I get it, you know what I'm saying? People like to, you know, gloat with the fact that, you know, she's 100% natural. You know, they, people like, people like to say that she's 100% natural and that's why, why people love her. And don't get me wrong, hey, I love I love a natural body, body yada yada. You know what I'm saying? Um, to me, her body isn't all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she still got a good, just like the rest of us. You know? So, it's like, I just feel like y'all just trying to overhype this lady, just trying to dethrone somebody. Because to me, she's not what everybody cracks her up to be. But that's just my opinion. Giving you seduction. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Once again, put on these Miami lashes because why the heck not? So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and put on these Miami lashes because why not? So we're back on better. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the face. I'm gonna start by um, prepping my skin with the Mario Badescu facial spray. This is the one with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Go ahead and wake it up. Go ahead and wake up the skin. 
now I'm gonna go into the Frisali. Um, this is the Unicorn Essence Drop. And now I'm going to use the Skin Tune as the primer today. This is the Skin Tune Perfecting Primer Serum. So now we're going to go ahead and color correct. Now with this color correct, because it is so dark, um, I don't like to use a lot of it. Even though this is like about to cover half of my face when I blend it out. So, to add an extra layer of um, not not coverage, but yeah, coverage. To add an extra layer of coverage, um, I'm gonna go in with my concealer on top of all the places I just put color corrector at, just because I don't want this reddish tint seeping through um, to my foundation because my undertones are honestly more golden and so my foundations have a more golden tone to them. So the golden and the red are just gonna clash with each other. So I want a display of extra protection. For foundation, we're gonna go in with the Dior um forever dior this is in the color um 3030 this is the forever undercover 24 hour full coverage um concealer foundation Now, first things first, I am the realist. We're gonna go in with a stippling brush first. Let's go ahead and place the product exactly where we want it to be. And then we're gonna go in with the beauty blender and pat that into the skin, honey. For concealer, we're gonna go in with the Born This Way Motel Sculpting Concealer. This is in the color Nude. Now to go ahead and set all that into place, we're going to take the Can't Stop, Won't Stop um, powder. It's in the color Banana. I love to use a yellow or a banana color um, powder just because it adds brightness to the face. So even if your concealer isn't isn't that bright, the, the powder will help bring the brightness um, to your face. I highly recommend this for every skin tone, including... Uh, my my brown skin sis and my dark skin sis um, just because 
We all need a little brightness in our life, make it look like we got some sleep, and we really didn't. Cause you out here grinding. So now we're gonna go ahead and bronze. We're taking the Fenty Beauty, as always, and islanding. And we're taking our big fluffy brush. And then I'm gonna take a face powder. This is the Maybelline face powder. And I'm just going to just lightly brush that against the rest of our face. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and bake really quickly. We're gonna go back in with ruby, I mean emerald. And we're gonna use that dark green. Back here. We're gonna go into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And we're gonna take this green. Just make in the middle, and then we're gonna take the lime green color, and we're gonna put that right in the middle, right in the inside. That's okay, cause baby. Oh, here it goes. And then we're gonna put some scare on. And then we're gonna put some scare on. I'm taking the Better Than Sex mascara. And then now, we're gonna adjust away this excess powder. Spray our face, blend all of this up together. I'm taking the um, Urban Decator All Nighter. Now I'm gonna go in with highlighter. We're using. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going in with the Amrezy highlighter. Okay, I feel better. Don't you hate when you have like all lip liners at any time of the day, but as soon as you want one, they're nowhere to be found. Like I don't understand that. So we're gonna go in with Los Angeles by um, NYX. 